Hello, it's Michael from Corona, and we're back to talk inventory today. The modern POS has quickly revolutionized retail inventory management. The days of manually entering numbers into a spreadsheet or ledger book are hopefully gone. These new inventory control methods have allowed retailers to more easily sell products on multiple channels, manage their warehouse space, carry more products, communicate with vendors, keep shelves stocked, and much more. While the industry has evolved rapidly, there are still many retailers that have not yet adopted these powerful new techniques. So if you find yourself in that group, it's worth thinking about making a change to your system. The best place to get started is with your inventory control methods. Your inventory control is the process of keeping in-depth track of all products in your catalog. By doing it well, you'll ensure that your business is correctly ordering, stocking, pricing, and tracking your entire inventory. On its most basic level, inventory control is meant to make sure that your shelves are always adequately stocked, but that your warehouse or storage area isn't overstocked. You should know exactly where your inventory is and how much you have at any moment. There are many different ways of measuring and managing your inventory. Most retail businesses employ several depending on the type of inventory. These methods are generated and managed by your inventory management, which is typically built into your retail point of sale system. Now, a retail POS keeps all product data in one system, so it can provide you with valuable reports and actionable advice to help you make better business decisions. Proper inventory control is so important because if you run out of stock for a certain item, you'll face a twofold problem. Of course, you'll lose sales because you don't have the product on your shelves. Even worse though, you'll likely lose customers. Shoppers who can't buy an item they came to your store for are probably going to shop elsewhere. This long-term cost can have calamitous effects on your small business. Likewise, it's equally poor for businesses if you are overstocked on a certain item. Though it offers less of a direct cost to the business, its eventual consequences are the same. Carrying too much ties up your business's cash flow and also takes up valuable storage space. Both scenarios prevent you from being able to spend the money elsewhere. No cash means no capital to order more products and no space means no room to hold any of the new products. So with proper inventory control methods, you'll see several important changes in your business. First, more sales. People want their retailers to have products in stock and available for purchase. We also see better shopper loyalty. Don't let a poor experience drive a customer away from your business. Storage efficiency will improve too. You can keep optimal stock levels in your warehouse so that you can add new products when you need them. Finally, you'll have less retail waste. With better inventory efficiency, you'll minimize your retail waste, saving both your wallet and the environment. Now, your retail inventory management is truly at the heart of your entire business operations. If it's not controlled effectively, you're going to see consequences immediately and in many areas of your business. But when it's done right, you'll see your business improve in ways that you never imagined. So what are some of the best inventory control methods for small businesses? I wanted to quickly go over 11 of the most important that our customers commonly use. So number one, ABC Retail Analytics. ABC analysis breaks down your entire inventory catalog item by item. In doing so, it assigns a letter grade, A, B, or C, to each item based on its revenue and profitability. The grade allows you to quickly identify which products are doing well and which need a change. This can help with your pricing strategies and marketing efforts. Even better, your POS can grade your inventory and produce a detailed report in just 15 seconds. Second just-in-time inventory control. This method is often just shorted to JIT, and it lessens the amount of inventory that a business has on hand at any given time. Instead, it tries to order products as needed, waiting until the last minute to receive new inventory. This keeps storage space and cash flow at healthy levels. This method won't work for all retailers, especially if your delivery times are lengthy or you have large swings in in-store traffic, but it's a popular option for businesses that manufacture some or all of their products. Okay, number three, economic order quantities. Also commonly shortened EOQs try to find the perfect balance between going out of stock and being overstocked. The formula for implementing EOQ control is hard to devise and based on a number of factors, including cost of production, rate of demand, annual sales, ordering costs, carrying or storage costs, and order quantity. Fourth, choose custom PAR levels. Setting custom PAR levels in your POS system's inventory control software allows you to get notifications for each stock item when they hit a certain level. This level will be different for each of your products. Spend some time trying to determine a smart level for each item based on a number of factors like how long it takes to sell, order, pending duration, delivery time, case size, and minimum order. This inventory control technique does require some time and effort up front, but it'll pay off in the long run. The PAR levels can be set and all future ordering will be automated. Next, FIFO and LIFO. A few of the more common inventory control methods you might have already heard of, first in, first out, and last in, first out, are popular costing methods for retailers. They differ in how to calculate sales against cost though. FIFO measures the sales against the cost of the longest standing order in the store, while LIFO calculates the cost of the sale against the cost of the most recent order. Each costing method has different merits, though most retailers are likely to rely on the FIFO method. Sixth, vendor relationship management and auto ordering. It's important to maintain a healthy relationship with all vendors. 
Late orders, missed payments, or other frustrating behavior can strain your vendor relations and hurt your business. Having your vendor relations built into your POS software makes this much easier and pain-free. You can set stock notifications to alert you to place an order, or just have your POS do it for you with automated ordering. Okay, number seven, demand forecasting. Look at reporting and analytics from prior years to get an idea of when your slow and busy times are. For most retailers, a typical July order is very different from one in December. You must be able to anticipate a predicted amount that you'll sell. It's impossible to do so perfectly, but ballparking a range will help prevent against catastrophic miscalculations. Eighth, minimum order quantity. Many suppliers and vendors set minimum order standards for each item that they carry. This helps them keep the cost down when merchants order products wholesale, but means that business owners must order a certain amount each time. Typically, more inexpensive items will have a higher minimum order quantity. Again, this allows wholesale merchants to sell items at a cheaper rate, which is of course an advantage to the retailer, but it's important to be careful not to overorder and leave your store with a stock surplus. Ninth on the list, safety stock ordering. This technique involves carrying a bit more stock than you might anticipate selling through. This is commonly used to protect against stockouts and it's a great strategy for retailers that have a bit of extra space and cash on hand. It's also wise if you have issues with an unreliable vendor, uncertainty of future availability of a certain product, or an unpredictable season approaching. Ideally, you don't ever want to overorder, and your point of sale inventory management is meant to protect you against this. But there are times when it does make sense. Tenth, perpetual counting. This counting method allows you to keep track of your inventory throughout the year instead of doing it just once at the end of the year. Many retailers still rely on a single year-end count. If there are large discrepancies at this point, there's nothing that can be done to fix it. Instead, perpetual counts keep you up to date on your inventory throughout the year. You can choose which products you want counted each day and come up with a manageable schedule. This helps identify loss or theft issues and keeps your inventory safe. Finally, number 11, drop shipping inventory. Drop shipping cuts you out of the inventory and delivery equation entirely. You simply serve as the facilitator of the transaction while the product is shipped from a manufacturer or wholesaler directly to the customer. Arguably, since you don't even have to deal with the inventory, this is the most efficient system of them all. Your POS inventory management system will make all of these so much easier. You'll be able to come up with custom ways of measuring your inventory catalog that'll give you great perspective on your store and help you continue to succeed and expand. Now, for more inventory tips, subscribe to our blog and channel. And to see how Corona's inventory management works, set up a free trial. There are zero commitments, and you can take your time getting to know and understand the software before you even make a purchase. Our product specialist will walk you through the entire set of inventory features, and you can even upload your own business's data to see exactly how your reporting and analytics will work. Keep tuned in for our next video, and thanks for watching.